Hey folks, thanks for joining me today. So I'm going to do the flower mold of this mold that I showed you a couple of days ago and I need to uh, give a, a correction. I did not pick this up at a dollar store or some place like that. I actually got it at Michael's. So if you're looking for it, I don't want to send you on a wild goose chase. It is at Michael's if that's where, um, if you wanted to get this mold. It is for chocolate, however, it's silicone, so it works well with the UltraCal 30 as well. So if you want one, go pick it up. They have other ones as well, different designs. Uh, some have um, uh, little chicks and things like that. So uh, definitely go and check that out. And I do apologize for giving misinformation, um, but I did get it from Michael's. Uh, so this is the other option. So a couple of days ago, I posted one that did the, uh, the stripes and the curvy lines and I put some gems and stuff on it and I showed you two ways on how to paint them. Um, now I'm doing the flower one and I'm going to do the same thing. So at the end of the video, there will be two versions of the same mold. Um, now there were so many things that I could have done and I'm telling you my creativity was just going crazy when I got these uh, demolded and was trying to figure out something that I could do. Um, so without getting too complicated, I thought I would keep it si simple using uh, simple bright colors that are pastel -y kind of or bright um, for Easter and for spring. Um, but at the same time to keep it simple so that you guys could follow along if you wanted, use these techniques if you wanted. Um, but there's so many things that we could have done with it. Um, so just to catch you up on what I've been doing. So I originally started to use my finger sponge to, uh, fill in all the entire thing green. Um, but I found that the sponge just wasn't getting in between the petals and the center of the flower so I used the paintbrush and then I sponged over top and I wasn't worried about it being perfectly covered because um, I really wanted this to look like it was uh, like a hand-painted Easter egg and those are never perfect because we're human we're not machines and that's what uh, I was going for so these flowers are actually raised up from the actual egg so I just painted the top of the petals. So I really wanted to get that green around the edges of the petals and that also helped when I used the paintbrush. So I paint them all the same color. Um, I believe this is uh, Bubblegum Pink by DecoArt. Now, if you're interested in all of the paint colors and the brand names that I use, they are listed in the description below. Um, I used UltraCal 30 for this and I used about the same amount as you would use for mold number two from the Happy Dotting Company. So those are the round stones that I work on. Um, so they're about the same um, ratio of powder versus water and you can get that off of um, the Happy Dotting Company's website. Um, and also I urge you to go to her um, Etsy shop. And check out all of her uh, really neat molds that she has available. Um, there's a link in the description below if you want to uh, just click on that and it'll take you right there. Um, so yeah, so I just, I paint all of the uh, petals, uh, just the top of them and I do them all the way around. Now there was so many things I could have done um, and I thought about it, but I thought, no, I'll keep it simple. But other things you could do is... Um, you don't have to paint every flower the same color. There's six of them. So you could do six different colors. So you have different flowers. You could do like an ombre effect. You could use a very small sponge and you can um, maybe have a dark pink on the on the top edge of the, of the petal. And as you work your way down the petal, it becomes lighter and lighter. There's so many things that you could do with this. You don't even have to do a green background. Um, in fact, I changed that um, and you'll see that in a little bit, um, but uh, I, I just, it, this was so much fun to do and uh, I know I'm going to be doing a lot more of these um, as time goes on, but 
so now I'm just using a dotting stylus uh, because the circles in between are very round and I'm just putting on some yellow paint and I believe this is bright yellow um, by Craft Smart again from Michaels. Uh, so I just put those on and now I'm just dabbing those little raised areas with a purple dot. Um, and then I thought that was it, but it didn't look quite right. Uh, so I just stared at it and stared at it and I couldn't figure out what was wrong with it. So I decided to walk away from it and come back to it, um, on the next day. So we're going to see that there it is the next day. And so I go in with a really light, um, what's it called? Like a, a mint green, I think it was called. Again, check the information in the, in the description below. Um, I, I just dabbed this on with one of my blending brushes and I'm not too worried about getting in between the petals or anything like that because I really, I still wanted this dark green to show, but I think that the dark green um, overall was too much. It just, we needed to lighten it up, or I did. So I just um, dab away and there, it's more like a pastel-y color. And now I'm just going in and I'm fixing up all of those petals that um, I had painted over with my blending brush. And it's just a really quick um, cleanup uh, to do uh, with your whatever color that you chose. So now if you did do all of the special effects and things like that, um, it might be difficult to re-achieve that, but um, just make sure that your base color that you have on there is the one you want in the first place. Then you won't run into this problem like I did. <laughs> so I'd really love to know what you think about this. So leave me a comment in, this, in the comment section below. Um, and the best way, if you're, if you're too shy and you don't want to leave a comment, that's totally all right. Just give me a thumbs up. And if you're new, um, make sure you subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you get a notification every time I post something new. And I hope everyone had a wonderful Easter. This is Easter Monday, so it's my last post for uh, for the Easter um, egg stab. <laughs> I can't even say it. <laughs> Extravaganza. <laughs> um, this will be my last uh, post for Easter and then I'll get back into my regular stuff. Um, I do have other uh, Easter tutorials that I have filmed, um, but I think I'm going to save those for next year. Let me know if you want me to post them. I'll definitely post it if, uh, if there's enough people that are interested in seeing them. Um, but uh, it is something that... Uh, uh, I just didn't get time to uh, video, or sorry, to edit. I got the video, but I haven't had time to edit it, um, to post it up. But I will if you want me to. Uh, it's just not going to be during Easter. It'll be after Easter. Or maybe I'll be really, really early for next Easter. <laughs> just let me know in the comments below um, if, that's, uh, if you want to see. Um, I think I have one more that uh, I could edit and post. So... Um, just let me know. So now I'm going back in and redotting all of those uh, purple dots. And I believe the color that I used is called Bright Plum. It's uh, by Deco Art. Um, but as I put, uh, like I dotted all of the raised areas on this egg, when I was done, I took a look at it. Or actually, I just sort of sat back and looked at it. I'm like, mm -mm, there's not enough. I got to add more purple dots. So I'm really sorry, but I went a little bit crazy <laughs> with the purple dots. But you know what? It really dulled down that green that was in behind it and put more focus onto um, the whole thing as a whole rather than just have this really bright green background. Um and it just sort of broke it up. And I really liked how it worked out. And I used my nail stylist. And right now I'm just doing like dipping into the paint and putting one dot on, dipping in the paint, putting a dot on. And then I thought, hey, we don't need them all to be the same size. 
This is an Easter egg. We can do whatever we want. So I went in and I uh, would dip into the paint and then I would do three or four dots and as I dotted, the dots got smaller automatically because there's less amount of paint on your dotting tool. So um, you can use that uh, technique in this way as well, rather than, you know, just walking the dots with do if you're doing the mandalas or whatever, uh, you can do it this way as well. Um, so it's just another way that you can apply the same technique in a different way to get a different um, end result. So, uh, I really hope you like it. Um, I thought it turned out really, really well. Um, once I changed that background color and you can still see that darker green behind the petals of each flower. And I think that it just, it just totally made it. I, it, it's beautiful. I'm very happy with it. I'm happy with the other one that I did as well. Um, it was a very simple one. Um, I used uh, purple pearl paint and some spun gold. Um, and it's very simple, but it's very elegant. It looks so pretty. So stay tuned to the end of the video um, because I do post both photos of that, um, of both eggs that I decorated uh, with this mold that I used. Um, so definitely stick around for that. Uh, so yeah, so, um, I'm just putting dots on everywhere and, um, having a great old time, just, you know, dotting these little purple dots all over the place. Um, and I try to get them as, let's say as balanced as possible, but as random as possible, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So then I sit back and I look at it again. I'm like, there's still something missing. What is missing? And I was like, oh, I know what it is. It's my bling bling. So I use the dotting tool with just some white tacky glue and I put it on each of the petals and I'm using these little gems that are for your nails. Now, I don't usually put gems on my nails, but I do have um, a bunch of them that I use for my stones. And they glitter so pretty and they're perfectly, or sorry, they're, they're the perfect size for this application. So these ones, um, I did um, three flowers with the light pink and three flowers with like a fuchsia color uh, of the gems just on the petals. And now I'm randomly putting spots on for purple gems. And then I just, I don't resin this. Uh, what I do is I give it a coat of glaze. I actually did two coats of glaze on this um, just to see how the glaze would work. It's something new that I have and I wanted to try it out. And I thought this was a great time to do that. Um, I may still resin them, uh, but I really liked uh, the effect of the glaze. So there you have it, folks. I hope everyone had a happy Easter. And remember, life is what you make it, so get creative. Mm -hmm.